Welcome to Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Elena Russo. Well, nonprofit organizations we all know rely on their volunteers for support to stay afloat. Well, now it's time to celebrate those volunteers and also recruit new ones. Please welcome Dr. Spicer Bell, who is the president of the Community Foundation of the Eastern Shore. Dr. Bell, thank you for coming in. Elena, it's great to be here. Talk a little bit about how important volunteers are to all your nonprofits. Well, volunteers are absolutely essential to nonprofit organizations. They, they not only help them uh, make ends meet in terms of the budget and what have you, provide valuable uh, person hours of, of, of work, but uh, volunteers often bring very, very unique skills that are difficult to buy out there in the market. And you have a big event coming up where you're going to kind of celebrate those who have given up their time in the past, but also invite new ones to check out some of the opportunities. Absolutely. With the Community Foundation Shore Can Volunteer Center, we're trying to make volunteering easy. And one of the things we're doing, we're teaming up with a group of other organizations, and we're sponsoring a volunteer fair that will be Saturday, September 25th, at, uh, from 10 to 2 uh, at Warwick Community College. And we're going to assemble a group of nonprofit organizations who uh, we know make really good use of volunteers and uh, we're going to make volunteering easy opportunity for folks to get connected that day talk a little bit about some of the incentives of volunteer I mean it's not just coming out and and feeding the hungry if you will but I mean there are things that you can put on your resume or ways to find new career paths volunteering is uh, I mean it's it's important it, it really is uh, number one volunteering and I've done a number of volunteering opportunities over the years uh, it makes you feel good when you're helping others and helping improve your community but uh, it, for young people it's a great way to acquire new skills to make wonderful connections that may lead to new career paths, uh, to flesh out your resume, so to speak. Uh, for uh, older folks who are, are retiring or reaching, uh, reaching retirement age, it's an opportunity to stay socially connected and, and, and really actively involved. And we know that as we age, the more actively involved we stay, uh, the, the, the younger we stay also. But not just for the aging population, for the young people just coming out of college, if they can't find a job, what better way to sort of have sort of an internship, right, than to work with a profit? Absolutely, absolutely. It's a great opportunity, as I said, to, to acquire new skills, uh, to try to do something, get in, get your foot in the door for a career opportunity that you wouldn't be able to get in as a paid opportunity, uh, and, and also to make those uh, those connections. Uh, that it's kind of that part of that social networking that often gets your foot in the door. Right. Um, talk a little bit more about the event. So we've got four hours that you're going to spend um, for you know people who may want mm -hmm. to start volunteering. What kinds of organizations are they going to see? Well, there? it's going to be a variety of nonprofit organizations there. We have uh, local nonprofits are already uh, you know signing up. We have some great partners for this. Uh, it's, in, in addition to the Community Foundation sponsoring this, we're joined by the. Uh, uh, the United Way of the Lower Eastern Shore, uh, by Junior Achievement, by the Salisbury University Volunteer Center, uh, by Mac Incorporated, by the Worcester County Volunteer uh, Center. Uh, and we're all going to put the, an effort to get the organizations out there who uh, can make, that can be the right connections for someone who's interested in volunteering. It's going to be a family friendly event. We're going to have some activities for, ki for children. Uh, we, uh, volunteering is often uh, a family experience and uh, something's passed down from generation to generation and so it's an opportunity for the whole fi family to come out and get connected. Um, we're going to have some door prizes, uh, it's going to be some fun, we, we, uh, we're going to have some mascots from some of the local sports teams are going to put in cameo appearances. Uh, and uh, uh, we got some great door prizes. We already have some, uh, some stays at uh, Ocean City uh, Hotels that will be given away that day. We're going to have a flat screen TV that some, uh, some lucky prospective volunteer is going to be able to win. So uh, a lot of, it's going to be a fun event as well as an opportunity for folks to get connected to volunteering and help improve our community. And I'm assuming all ages are welcome? Absolutely. Uh, absolutely. We, we hope uh, all ages, family units, we hope organizations will come out and be represented uh, and uh, uh, make use of uh, the opportunity to make volunteering easy. Excellent. Well, thank you so much for coming in and telling us about this volunteer fair. Again, it's on Saturday, September 25th. Absolutely. Thank you. You've just heard from Dr. Spicer Bell, president of the Community Foundation of the Eastern Shore. For Comcast Newsmakers, I'm Elena Russo.